Hi, this is Tim from Plastex Plastic Repair Kits. This is a vent for a tankless water heater that we were installing today. This came when we opened it up, had a broken tab that goes right here. And here, this was broken and we don't even have the old part. So we're gonna remake this completely and we're gonna reattach this one using Plastex and show you how to do that. Okay, so we're, we're going to take a Dremel tool and we're gonna take this tab here and we're gonna chamfer this edge off like as if it was into a V. And we're gonna do that on the same thing on the actual part where it's broken here. We're gonna chamfer this edge off and then just on one side only and then we'll tape it back in place and we'll fill it. And I'll show you that as soon as I'm done chamfering this edge. And we'll start like this. All right, we're, we were done putting a, a chamfer on this edge here, on the tab, and, and we've done the same thing with the part here that has a chamfer. And, and when their two parts are put together, that makes a V. And we're gonna tape that in place with packaging tape here. I have a piece already taken off and ready. And we're just gonna tape that in place on here. Like so. We're just going to use tape and tape it in, 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 in place. So it's taped in place like that. Okay, we've got this tab taped in, in place here. And that V is in there from the two sides being chamfered. So to, to repair this, I mean to, to fix this, the best way to come in is to go on an angle here, put a couple drops into the powder pick, of the liquid, pick it up, and just push out a little more liquid there and flow it in place. And that's really all there is to it. Um, you can't uh, mess it up because there's no time limit. It doesn't have to, you don't have to hurry. You can take your time and just push more liquid out and just uh, fill that void up right there. And doesn't really matter. You can put one, two, three drops into the powder. Um, when you push more liquid out, that's making the right mixture and just making it, uh, it, if you get too much liquid on there, it'll just evaporate. It won't hurt anything, it won't hurt the bond. So there we've actually, uh, that's really done and just let that harden and uh, that'll be back on there. Okay, we've done this repair and I'm gonna go ahead and pull the tape off the back here. It's all done. And you can see right here from the back side, it's just seeped through a little bit. And then here, you can see where the V is all filled. It's built up a little bit. If it was something that you wanted to make cosmetically perfect, you could actually sand this excess off right here. But there's no need in this case. And the part's strong. It's just like it was never broken. And so it's a good, strong repair, and, and uh, you'll never know it was broken. Okay, we fixed this one over here, put that tab back on there, but this one here is completely missing, that part. I don't know where it was, where it is, it wasn't in the box, so we're going to take a mold of a good one. There's always a good tab somewhere else, just about on anything. It could be from a car door panel or any kind of part. So I'm going to take the mold material here. This is heated up to 120 to 130 degrees, and it gets like silly putty. And we're going to take and we're going to take the tab here and we're going to push this up here like that and make a perfect mold of this tab and I try to push it up to where it's a little bit thicker than the part so when I make it I can tell how thick the part was and uh, it'll you know go over the edge just a little bit now we're going to let this go back to room temperature and then we'll pull it off and we'll have a perfect mold all right we're back to room temperature with this we're going to take this mold off, and you can see the kind of detail there of, of the part. And we're going to put it right back onto the broken one here and just slide it in place just like this. Now, we can take a little bit uh, more mold material. Uh, it's better than taping it in place. I'm just going to take a little bit piece of mold material here, and I'm just going to kind of stick it, stick it on down here to hold it in place. And actually, I'm going to take a little bit more 
and put on the outside here. I'm just going to pull a little bit apart here and I'm just going to put it right here just to hold that in place like that. Now I can take my hand and keep it pushed up against there as I fix it. Now I'm going to take that and just put it like that and I'm going to take the powder and liquid, just put a couple drops here again into the powder, pick it up at the tip of the needle and just push a little more liquid out and just like that. And I'll just keep doing that until I build this whole area up and I'm just rebuilding that tab right back on there. Just come right up against the joint here where it meets, where the mold meets the plastic. And like I said, there's no real mixing ratio as long as you just get enough, the powder is completely wetted and uh, you just keep building that up. Slide that back. Okay, and that's, we'll just do that until it's done. We're just getting to the end of uh, filling this, this tab up, making it just leveling it out. This, the, the product will self-level so you don't have to worry about it and if it's you want to always make the repair just as thick as the original part. If it's thinner it, it won't be strong and it, you can make it a little bit thicker but you don't want to make it too much thicker because then it'll just break next to where the repair is. So we're just leveling it up here right here just making sure you can always file it off sand it or grind it. See right there, that's finished now, and we'll just let that dry, and we'll pop the mold off, and you'll have a brand new tab on there, just like it was never broken. Okay, it's been about a half hour, 35 minutes, and it's about 70 degrees here in this garage, and uh, this is ready to pull off the mold. It's hard enough. Usually about 20 to 30 minutes in that area, and sometimes a little longer if it's colder, but you can see here that uh, this side... It's perfect. It even matches all the, the detail that was in these. And uh, I'll just take it and, and just clean this little edge up here. But it's really ready to go. Um, and, it's, and it's strong. And that tab's made right back on there just like it was never broken. This part is all done. Both tabs are completely finished. This is the one that we remade that was completely broken off here. All this is new material. And this is the one that we fastened back on. Both of them are just as strong as they were when they were new. And here, this molding material, don't throw that away. You can just put it right back on here and make something else out of it, make another mold out of it. It's reusable. And uh, thank you for watching. Uh, look us up at plastex.net and follow us on social media.